Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my Print Pression Weeks Fitness Planner for the month of May, and I'll be using a bunch of leftover stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design along with some Simply Gilded Washi. First, I wanted to show you the back of my planner where I have my monthly challenges. I use these Sweet Kawaii Design monthly calendars to track which days I complete the challenge. For April, I had done a core and nutrition challenge, and for May, I decided that I wanted to do a 5,000 step challenge. Just looking at how many steps I get normally, it's around 2,000, so I figured I should at least try to get 5,000 a day. Whenever I had done a step challenge in the past, my target was always 7,000, but that's really unrealistic for me right now. In order for me to really hit 7,000 in my daily life, I would have to go on a walk every day, and that's something I'm not really comfortable with doing right now. Aside from having to wear a face mask, it's also starting to get really hot here in California, so I just decided that 5,000 was a good target because it is still pretty challenging for me. It has already been a few days into the challenge and something that I had to start doing was whenever I wanted to watch a YouTube video, I would make myself walk around the house while I'm watching my videos and that has really been the thing that has helped me reach my goal. Especially on days where I spend a lot of time editing, I'm gonna have to make myself take breaks and walk around the house because I really love seeing my full calendar filled in with each monthly challenge. But anyways, here I am setting up my May monthly overview. I am using a printable from Etsy and it was only a couple dollars. I like to use this page to write down all of our dinners for the entire month. I color code the meals by the type of protein that I use and every time I meal plan for the week, I always take this out. It helps me get an idea of meals that I haven't made in a while, and it also helps me try to make a variety of proteins throughout the week. That has definitely been more difficult in our current situation. I've been trying to only go to the store once every two weeks, and I noticed that the first few days after a grocery run, those are my favorite meals because I get a lot of more fresh produce. But by the second week, we are having to use frozen or canned vegetables, so we tend to stick to the same rotation of meals. Thankfully, the grocery stores have been better stocked lately. So I have been able to write a grocery list and get everything I need, but I really have not enjoyed going to the grocery store. Now I want to show you all the weekly pages from the month of April all filled in. We have been getting lazier with our trigger sessions. At first when we started this program, I had to get all three done every day, but now I'll at least do one and I'll try to incorporate a YouTube video instead. It's always more fun when we get the boys involved and we get to dance around the house, but I'm really excited that I've actually been able to use this planner and stick with it. The washi that I chose for the month of May is this beautiful floral floor washi from Simply Gilded. I always have a hard time saying that. I thought it would be perfect for the month of Mother's Day. And I also wanted to use the perforated days of the week from Simply Gilded. The white and pink came as a set, so I decided to alternate them this month. I actually laid these down completely wrong. I should have Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the top because those are our workout days. And for the first three weeks, we will be having three gym days a week. And they are extra long workouts, so I needed extra space. And I will fix all of this later, but it actually took me quite a while to realize it. The fourth week shouldn't be laid out the same as the first three weeks. Again, that is something that I will fix later. Next, I will be setting up my sidebar for all four weeks, and I'm using a bunch of different leftover stickers from Sweet Koi Design. She does have a listing for functional stickers in all kinds of colors. The blank weekly schedules that I'm using are from the pastel colorway, and there is a separate listing for the Stay Hydrated trackers, but everything else is just random leftovers. This month I'm setting up my sidebar with a half box at the top, a blank weekly schedule to track my steps, a Stay Hydrated tracker, and a habit tracker for my vitamins. I've added these vitamin munchkins from Once More With Love. 
And I'm leaving space at the bottom because I ordered some Mother's Day full boxes that I do want to add in this planner. I think they will work nicely with these colors. I debated waiting to film this video until those stickers arrived, but I really wanted to stick to my video schedule and my Instagram post schedule, so I will be posting pictures of these spreads with those stickers in them on my Instagram. For this first week, I'm using the Vertical Bow Washi from Simply Gilded as my checklist. As I had mentioned, we are having longer workouts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I need lots of room to write all of the exercises, and I purchased this vertical washi for this very reason. I kind of wish this washi was rolled the opposite way so that I could place it at the top and cut it at the bottom. I just wanted to be able to cut the washi in between the bows so there wouldn't be a half bow at the top, but I ended up just measuring how much I would need cutting that off camera and using that length to measure out the other two colors. Then I added some checklists to the two days at the bottom, and then I decided to cut them down to three heart checklists. For the second week, I'm using some leftover bottom washi from the kawaii kit that I used for the month of May. I cut them into long strips and some of them into headers. As you can see, there is a gradient on this bottom washi, and I really like how it ended up looking once it was cut into strips. At first, I wasn't sure if it would work because there is a design on this bottom washi, and the ones that I had cut previously just had the gradient colors, but I think these ended up being my favorite so far. Because I'm using such a huge combination of stickers, I know the colors don't match perfectly, but my goal with this planner is to use as much of my leftover stickers as I can, and that tends to make this the most stressful video that I film. It's just so much easier when you have a kit and you have a place for everything, but I do feel like I'm making it work, and thankfully it's a small enough planner that I don't need too many stickers. For the weekends, I end up cutting up some bottom washi from a mini kit that I actually used last month in this planner. There was enough of this bottom washi for me to use in almost every weekend this month. And then I finally realized that the days of the week are not in the right place. I moved most of them around off camera because it was too painful for even me to watch. Then I added the numbers to the date covers. I added a little floral sticker to Mother's Day. I used a Sakura Microperm Ultra Fine Pen, and afterwards I did have to go over the numbers a couple more times to make them a bit more bold, but luckily they did not smear. The third week is going to be similar to the first week, and the fourth week will be similar to the second week. Although for the fourth week, I won't need the extra long checklist, so I will be going back to my normal layout. As far as any fitness-related updates, we are still going strong with our workouts. I did mention that it is starting to get really hot, and we usually work out during nap time, which is probably the hottest part of the day. So we are considering trying to get up extra early before the boys wake up to work out, but that is probably just going to depend on the day because my husband does have to drive into work sometimes. Something I have started this past week was going on a bike ride in the morning. I've been trying to wake up early every day to get a jump start on my videos whether it be editing, filming, or recording my voiceover. And the bike ride has been something to motivate me to get me out of bed and also to help me fully wake up. I have really enjoyed getting some fresh air in the morning and it has been a really nice way to start my day. It's one of those things that doesn't feel like a workout until it's all done. And another thing that would have been really nice to add to our fitness routine is that we do have a swimming pool in our backyard, but we are having issues with our pool pump, so we are trying to get that fixed. It's been really difficult to get that scheduled right now. We really want to be able to enjoy our pool this summer, so hopefully that gets resolved soon. I know a lot of places are starting to open back up. In our area, our stay-at-home order has been extended through the end of May, but even once things get back to normal, I don't really know when we are going to get back to normal life. My husband and I haven't really discussed when we are going to feel safe going back to the gym. 
I guess it is better that other places are opening up before us so that we can kind of wait and see if there's any major effect of that. I feel like a lot of people are just so ready to get back to the way things were, whereas my husband and I have kind of mentally prepared to make this our new normal for quite some time, so it feels weird to have to think about what the transition is going to look like and when we are going to feel comfortable doing that. But I hope you all stay safe and healthy. That is all I have for my Prempression Week's fitness planner for the month of May. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.